Now that I work from home, I've really needed to find a functional chair for my home workspace. Now, previously, I didn't have to sit at my desk all that often, so I only had a dinner chair here. But now that I've got to sit here for hours a day, coupled with the fact that I've got a slip disc, it's just not going to work. So I wanted to find an ergonomic and comfortable chair for my back, but also one that is modern looking that fits in with my new modern and aesthetic desk setup. Now, you can find a nice modern looking chair at pretty much any price point these days. But if you want a fully adjustable and ergonomic chair, you're tending to look at the high end where you're paying a lot of money. They're very, very expensive. Now you can't put a price on health, especially when you've got a spine like mine. But if I can avoid paying the thousand pounds or thousand dollars for a Herman Miller chair, that'd be grand. After a lot of research, I'm happy to let you know that I found a chair that's ergonomic, aesthetic, and very affordable. This is the lumbar office chair by John Lewis's own brand, housed by John Lewis in black, which also comes in gray. Now let's start by talking money. And incredibly, this chair comes in at only 150 pounds. Now, yes, 150 pounds is a lot of money, but on the scale of office chairs, you start very basically at around 50 pounds and you can go way over a thousand pounds. So relatively speaking for an office chair, we are looking at the budget end. As I touched on earlier, there seems to be a correlation between price and ergonomics in terms of how adjustable the chair is. But this chair does not follow this at all in that it's relatively cheap in price, but it's fully adjustable and very comfortable. So as I say, the chair is incredibly ergonomic. And let's start with the most impressive thing about this chair. And the thing that made this an absolute no brainer for me is the adjustable lumbar support. Now I haven't found any chair at the budget end of a spectrum that has an adjustable lumbar support, which I really need for my back. We're not all the same size. So this allows the flexibility to move the lumbar support to a position that's best for you, that can maximize comfort and minimize stress on your lower back when you're sitting for prolonged periods of time during the day. The only thing that is a little bit naff is the mechanism itself isn't as smooth as what you'd get from your top line chair. It's a little bit clickety clackety and plastic, but to be honest, at this price point, the fact that it even exists is insane. So I'm not gonna complain too much. The armrests are adjustable up and down, so I can put them up and have them just under desk height so it's comfortable while I'm working. And then I can put them down and tuck the chair in conveniently under my desk. Now, I really like that the armrests themselves, they're not made of plastic, so it doesn't feel cheap, but it's still firm and soft to touch, so it's really comfortable. The seat height is also adjustable, so you can line up your eye line with the top of your monitor, and you can also tilt the chair back, so pretty standard things for decent desk chairs. The back tilt is actually pretty stiff, it's almost like trying to do a back extension. So it kind of forces you to sit upright and with the right posture. So I'm taking that as a good thing. The seat itself is soft but firm. <laughs> How we like things. <laughs> it's a mesh, so it's breathable. But the good thing is that the holes aren't too big. So if you snack at your desk and drop a few crumbs, it's not gonna get stuck inside those holes for eternity. It tends to kind of sit up and you can kind of just wipe it off or, or, or whack it out. Not speaking from experience or anything like that. The seat depth isn't adjustable here, but sitting here right now, my feet are planted firmly on the ground and there's a nice gap between the seat and the back of my knees. So there's no circulation problems. I think you'd have to be very, very short sure for this to be a problem. The chair has a wheel base, pretty standard, it rolls. But the chair also has safety casters so that when you're not sat in the chair, it doesn't roll away. Now, this is actually super annoying for me because what I find is that when I'm not sat in it and I want to tuck my chair in under my desk, it ends up dragging along the wooden floor, which is super annoying. To be honest, I think the chair would be better without the safety casters, mainly because I've not got a lot of space here, so the chair isn't going to be rolling far, but you know, nothing too much to complain about. Aesthetically, I think my chair looks good. I'm not too worried about how my chair looks, to be honest, as long as it's somewhat in keeping with the rest of my desk setup and it's quite a clean, minimal design 
So I think it does work really, really nicely. So overall, I'm a fan of how this chair looks. It's a very simple black chair with light gray arms, legs, and spine. So it's gonna work with most minimal looking setups. The spine's cut out clearly so you can adjust the lumbar support, but they've done a pretty good job of uh, keeping the design really clean and somewhat seamless. You know, it's, it's not an eyesore. It still looks pretty nice. There's no headrest, but I'm not a Bond villain, so I don't really care. In terms of build, the mainframe is made of metal, so the chair is very sturdy. The back is a thin layer of mesh. It's actually pretty transparent, so it does look a bit odd, but it is very, very comfortable to sit in. And all of the gray bits are made of plastic, which is pretty cheap, but you wouldn't really be able to tell unless you gave it a flick at face value, just looking at it, you wouldn't really know. And I'm not too bothered by this, a chair at this price point, that's pretty expected. Overall, I think that this is a brilliant chair. First and foremost, it's very affordable. I think it's a small minority of people that have the cash to buy a thousand dollar, a thousand pound desk chair. So at 150 pounds, it is very much a budget option. But whilst the price is very cheap, the functionality is very premium. The adjustable lumbar support is the game changer here in that it's a very rare capability for budget chairs, but it also makes this chair a genuine alternative to any premium chair in that you're paying a fraction of the price for pretty much all of the capabilities. And as I say, I've got a broken back, so I do need proper back support. And uh, if I'm not sitting in the right chair, my back does get tight and stiff. And in the week that I've been using this chair, I haven't had any problems at all. The chair is very, very ergonomic and very comfortable to sit in day to day for long periods of time. The only thing that bugs me about this chair are the safety casters in that I've got to drag my chair across the wooden floor when I'm not sat in it. But apart from that, I have absolutely no problems at all. The chair is sturdy, ergonomic, aesthetic, and affordable. It has it all. It is the complete desk chair. The Herman Miller Aeron costs 10 times the price of this chair. And if anyone would like to try and justify that price difference, well, good luck to you. Doesn't provide 10 times the comfort, 10 times the adjustability, or 10 times the aesthetic, I seriously doubt it. And I did think I'd be saying this, but John Lewis's own brand has come up with the Herman Miller Killer. I'll link the lumbar office chair in the description below. And if you can get your hands on one, I'd highly recommend snapping it up as quickly as you can.